Okay, well, I made another one of these little uh, stoves, these uh, soda can uh, alcohol stoves. And uh, today I wanted to see if I could make it the entire project with a knife, with a utility knife. And uh, I did. And there it is. And uh, this was the only tool I used um, to make it with, was that right there. And uh, the can dimensions, it's cut at one and a half, two and a quarter, and one inch. And then the little holes at the top, the jet holes, are half inch apart, and I just pierced them slightly with the tip of that knife. I just went in there and I just poked little holes with the tip of the knife every half inch, and it made the stove. It's not as good as this right here, but it did work. Now the center piece right here is that right here. And uh, I didn't glue it or tape it or staple it. I just made a slit on one side and a slit on the other side and slid the two together to make the uh, inner part that goes inside that. And you notice I didn't cut out the top at all. I just left it. Now, it doesn't start as well as this when you have to put some alcohol on the bottom to get it hot enough to, to work. But uh, it did work. And uh, like I say, just one can. I scored the can with the knife using the book method where you put the knife in a big thick book at the right position then you rotate the can around the knife and then uh, gently pierce the can and crack the can all the way around. There's several um, good videos on how to do that. Uh, rather than use scissors or anything that scoring method is real clean, real simple. And then I took the burr off with the edge of the knife. No sandpaper, no nothing. Just that one tool. That's all I used. And there it is working away. And it boils water in about eight minutes. Now the other thing I wanted to show was this. This is a um, thermal electric generator that you could use at a campsite. And you could put a heat sink like this or a rock or something on the stove and cook on the stove using that as the uh, hot plate basically or after you got done cooking you could just set that on the stove for not very long and that, that heats up very very quickly uh, the transfer of energy into that bl block of aluminum and copper is very rapid and like I say you could probably use a stone too and then uh, once that gets a little hot you have to put it in something that's insulated to try to keep the heat in uh, you would need a better box than that. Then you use a felt -A module or a thermal couple of some kind, thermal electric uh, type of device. And then you could just use a cold stone. And there's your uh, thermal electric generator. And uh, this, uh, when it was hot, it ran for about half an hour. And the other way uh, I was doing it was with another one of these heat sinks and put the other heat sink on and if it was cold outside the air temperature differential between the hot and the cold is enough to make this blocking oscillator work and then if you add more cold to it it just goes longer but I was very happy to see that uh, a slight amount of heating off of that intense flame will make a thermal electric generator easily very easily and uh, this is kind of something neat to, to find out. So anyway, this was the project today to make it out of one can using one tool and then uh, get a thermal electric generator made out of it. Thanks for watching.